Hi, this is CB, and this time I'm going to make something that looks a little bit like an outlined stencil. If you'd taken a die cut, for instance, and put it down on a piece of paper and taken some spray paint and sprayed around it, and then you pull the die cut off, you know, and then you have that nice um, outlined stencil, which would make a nice journaling box or, or some sort of accent to a page. So the first step is we'll need the quote unquote die cut and I'm going to use the custom shapes tool to pick a shape to work with to pretend that's our die cut. I'm using Photoshop Element 6 here. Most of this will be the same, pretty much the exact same way I think in, in regular Photoshop and other versions of, of Photoshop Elements. So uh, the custom shape tool in Element 6 is down here and it looks like a heart and in fact I'm going to go ahead and choose a heart here for this so I'm going to click on that as you can see I've already got it picked but if I didn't I'd click this little down arrow if I didn't have all these shapes already here then you choose all elements shapes and that will give you the shape scroll down the heart is you know kind of closer to the bottom here so I'll choose that I've already got it selected and I'm going to draw it out and if you wanted to keep the shape perfectly proportioned you would hold the shift key down but I don't really want to keep it quite so narrow I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit here and I'm gonna make sure I make this big enough here there we go now that will be the the um, shape that we use to get the outline but I don't need this particular shape I don't need to see it rather I'm gonna turn the visibility off and I'll create a new layer here to work with and I'm going to go ahead and rename this just to um, have our layers palette here in fact I'm going to close my effects palette here and give us more room to look at this here so let me double click on this and I'm going to rename this um, paint because this will be the layer that I paint on with that stencil so let's go ahead and hold the control key or the command key on the Mac and click on that shape layer to get the uh, marching ants the selection what right now if I started painting I would only be able to paint inside the selection I want to paint on the outline outside of it rather so I need to select and inverse so now I can paint on the outside you didn't really see much change uh, if I was zoomed out a bit you'd see marching ants going along the outside of this but we're zoomed in enough that you can't see it but trust me right now if I try to take a brush and go work in here it wouldn't do anything it's only gonna put it on the outside so I'm choosing the brush tool and I've got the wet media brushes selected as you can see I've chosen the second one here called drippy water and after I clicked on that I went into the options menu here which is kinda stuck right now behind the edit tab but it's the brush options and I've turned the scatter of this particular brush down uh, about seven percent here looks pretty good I just didn't want it, it it was set up high and it would throw more pixels off than I want so seven is pretty good and I've got a pretty big brush here and I'm going to start painting as you can see it's only going now on the outside of this heart not the inside go around it a couple of times here just to get it nice and and uh, built up and as you can see the, the reason why I like that brush is it's giving me an irregular edge here not a perfectly round or whatever edge it's got this nice sort of um, I don't know what to call it exactly it's sort of a wave I guess around it so now it still doesn't quite look like the stencil that we want or spray paint it's we need to add some blur to this so I'm going to the filter blur Gaussian blur and in this particular case that's not too bad there I guess 12 you know you just have to play with this to see what looks good that's obviously too much there so yeah like I said somewhere in the 12 15 range here look pretty good so in fact I'm gonna pull back down a little bit more yeah well in there okay one more thing now if I deselect here which I will do that looks pretty good uh, one more little uh, thing I want to add to this is if you've ever done this with a regular stencil you'll have a little buildup of paint around the edge it wouldn't be this nice clean line from you know no paint to perfectly smooth paint here it, it's a little darker usually right around the edge so I want to add that here too and I'm gonna add a new layer and I think I called this um, when I was working earlier I called paint outline something like that <laughs> just again so that I know what I'm which layer I'm on and I'm going to just control click again on my heart shape to bring that up and just add a stroke here 
edit and the stroke outline selection menu. It's just a simple one pixel stroke on the outside of this line here. Add it so it's very small and subtle. Now when I deselect here and I zoom in a bit you can see it better. Uh, let me move over. You see how there's this line now. And in fact I'm going to change the blend mode of this line to linear dodge. Seem to work pretty nice. That makes it even brighter. And then I'm going to move the opacity down just until it gets, you know, it seems to blend in a little bit better. You can see it, but it really seems more like that build-up line that you would get. So I think that's pretty good. Let me zoom back out now, and, and uh, I think we're finished pretty much. I, I kind of like that, and I would just, you, you know, merge these two layers together, you know, right-click and merge down, and then drag it over to my layout if I wasn't doing this on my layout, and then add, maybe add some journaling on the inside. So I'm CB. I hope this has helped you make a little paint stencil outline here, and thanks for watching.